So you pray for your heart. You are hundred percent true. Because right. their heart is giving you trouble. Yes, yes, huh? man of God. Yes, man of God. Just recently, it started to give me troubles. So I ignored the doctors, the recommended medication, but I ignored them because I trusted that I'll be, I'll be fine. If the heart is not attended to, I saw you vomiting blood. Oh. Because one of the veins of your heart ruptured. It is now thicker than, there is a vein which is thicker than others because there is a blockage. Help me, man of The God. medication they told you, they said it was going to do what? They said it will regulate. Uh -huh. Regulation they are talking about, it will thin your blood. Help me, man of God. You sometimes feel pain in the middle of the chest. Yes, yes. It's so when, the, it's when the vein is struggling to pump, to release and to let in. You are 100% true, man of God. Last time you almost died on Thursday. You are, you, are, you are very right, man of God. And I was asking myself, why? Is the heart. What the doctor told you is 100% true. You are 100% true, man of God. I saw you vomiting blood because the thing ruptured. You never knew it. You continue, but it was going to hit you after 80 hours. You start suffocating. But the blood now started entering the wrong way. And <laughs> eight hours later, they send the text to the, to the people. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's gone. What's the root cause of this problem? It is the problem from your mother's side. You people are like that on your mother's side. You have issues with that. But again, you abused your body in the past. Come on, don't worry, don't worry. The name of Jesus. Stand up. Jog, jog. I'm light, I'm light. You are light, you avoid whatever with lots of fat. Huh? Thank you, man of God. How many children? I have five. How many staying with you? Three are staying with me. The other two, uh, I don't have access. Uh, these three are staying with, uh, I'm staying with them, but I'm not with their mothers. Struggling, man of God, in terms of love life. You heard I said you abused your life. I just stopped uh, that other life in 2022. Just stopped everything. That's when I, st I started. The ones it. outside, is it boy, girl? I have boys only. They, I, when I asked this question, I noticed that there is one of the boys outside who's going to be a king. A king not meaning chieftaincy, but he's going to be so blessed. Yes, man of God. If you don't live to see him, he will be on the throne, but he will hate you. You can imagine one of your children is a president, is a big guy, but they hate you. Oh. But it is your DNA. Oh. I pray God give you grace to be able to interact, to see, to meet, see these boys. One of them is a great child. You cannot afford to be like the brothers of Joseph yes, when he was in, because this is the way he's going to be. He's going to be like Joseph. No, I'll do all my best. I pray with you. Yeah, I'll do all my best. I pray with you. Lastly, can you pray for me, man of God? Companies call me, they, they are very interested in Employ me, they reject me. They, they Had you me. been taken by those companies who would not come to the church here? God was just saving you. If you had taken enough money, would you come to my church? Be honest. You wouldn't. So God will tell the blessing so that you will come, you see him. Then you go take the blessing, but you continue to appreciate God in your life. Thank you, man God. Okay, so thank you. What's your name? My name is Zakaria. From? From Shosho. From Shosho. I'll pray with you. You'll be blessed. Thank you, man. But change the direction of your life and uh, live a life of God. I want to pray with you with regards to your love life. Thank you. Come on. Mm. Okay, you bring him. Thank you. Thank you. Th thank you, Jesus. Thank you for helping me. Good morning, church. The grace of God is sufficient for all. My name is Zakaria Batamile from Shoshong. 
I'm here to confirm the prophecy given by men of God. Uh, indeed, uh, what uh, we have seen on your screen uh, is 100 percent true. Uh, men of God uh, prophesied to me that he sees that I have heart condition and uh, one of my veins is ruptured. Uh, he sees that I nearly died on Thursday. Yes, uh, these words are 100% true. I want to confirm this prophecy that is 100% true. Uh, recently, uh, beginning of 2023, I, every time when I visit the clinic, uh, complaining about uh, maybe cold, flu, uh, when I arrive there, when the doctors check my BP, they will complain that uh, BP is too high and I need to get the medication. Uh, they will give me a pill to regulate my BP, but at the end they, they will say, okay, come back so that we monitor this BP. But I never took their advice. I, I, ne I refused to go back to the hospital because I, I never took this as a very serious thing or as something that can take my life. So this continued uh, the whole of 2023 and even this year. When I visited the hospital, they also advised that I must uh, enroll on their medication program, but I refused. Uh, I refused because I still felt worried. Uh, this is not a serious thing that can take my life and I'll be healed because uh, I also come to church. Uh, what happens is uh, I will only go to the clinic or hospital uh, just for cold flu, not the problem of BP, because that problem of BP, I never took it serious, and I never thought uh, it can be a problem, because I felt I'm still young, and I, I felt I'm, I'm, health, I'm healthy, and that there's no way I can have this problem with BP. I used to experience pains on my chest. I used to experience, uh, I would hear the blood pumping on my veins, uh, especially in the morning when I wake up. But uh, this was not a problem to me because I could continue doing anything I want to do. I would hear the, the blood pumping like going from my neck uh, up, up until here, and then I will hear the pain just in the middle of my chest. Uh, this pains, it was not a problem to me. I was not worried about these pains. Last time you almost died on Thursday. You are, you, are, you are very right, man of God. And I was asking myself why. It's the heart. What the doctor told you is 100% true. You're 100% true, man of God. I saw you vomiting blood because the thing ruptured. You never knew it. You continue, but it was going to hit you after 80 hours. You start suffocating. But the blood now started entering the wrong way. And <laughs> oh. eight hours later, they sent the text to the, to the people. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, I confirmed the words of man of God uh, to be 100% true because... Uh, during that week, I was scheduled to do a minor surgery concerning a site. Uh, when I arrived at the theatre, <clears throat> uh, the doctors, they checked my BP. They said it's too high. So they cannot perform the operation. So I pleaded with them because I felt uh, this site needs to be removed. So they succeeded after I pleaded with them uh, because I have already that time, it was a time where I already booked for guest house service so on Thursday night 
uh, I had a dream. Uh, on that dream, I, I, met, I met some unknown people at the grave, at the graveyard. So these people allocated me a grave. They told me to, to dig a grave for myself. So I just told them that uh, where they, they're saying I should dig the grave is too small for me. I can't, I can't dig there. So immediately I woke up. I prayed uh, in the morning. Uh, it was now Friday. That's when I came to uh, check in to guest house service. What's the root cause of this problem? It is the problem from your mother's side. You people are like that on your mother's side. I wanted to understand the root cause of this issue. Uh, Men of God continued to tell me that this issue comes from my family, especially from my mother's side. Uh, immediately after a day, uh, after I left here, I called my mom to confirm this. Uh, but I, obviously I, I knew that my mom is taking medication for BP, uh, but she confirmed that indeed she has this problem. Uh, as well as my grandma, and I lost uh, my grandfather, two uncles. She also confirmed that when they passed, yes, they had this issue of her heart. My mom takes uh, medication for for BP and my grandmom, who still who she's still alive, and I only confirmed uh, this issue of heart uh, from for my uncles who have passed away uh, from my mom. She said yes, they had that issue of BP before they passed out. You have issues with that, but again, you abused your body in the past. Uh, this is 100% uh, true. The man of God uh, spoke these words to me that uh, one of the causes of this problem is because I abused my body. I want to confirm to church that yes, I, in the past, I abused my body. Uh, with consumption of alcohol. I used to drink uh, alcohol heavily. Uh, I used to drink alcohol like seven days of the week, uh, nonstop. Now you are coming to the church and this is the issue that the man of God points out. Was this your expectation? Was this what you had in mind? Did you think that this problem was actually going to lead you to the grave had you not been prayed for? Uh, to be fair and honest, I, this is the issue I never thought it was something that will take my life. Because uh, when I came to church uh, that week, I was praying for, for God to help me uh, and strengthen my relationship uh, with God. I wanted also to uh, hear the mind of God concerning the rejection in my life. So this issue of a heart, I never, I never wanted it and I, re I didn't want to hear about it. Uh, since I came to church uh, in 2022, I believed issues of disease or sickness, they will never affect me. Now say, after you receive this words of prophecy and we know that the word of prophecy reveals to redeem, after you were prayed for, we want to hear from you now, what were the differences? Immediately I felt... Uh, something heavy leaving me. Uh, I felt uh, very light. Uh, and even after, I never experienced uh, such pains because uh, these pains, they will normally come every time in the morning. So since then, I've never experienced any pain in my chest, 
everywhere. I've never experienced any pain. Where you said there used to be, you can press your chest, you can stretch, stretch your chest. Completely, there's nothing. There's no pain at all. There's no pain at all. You are welcome to just stretch, stretch. And as you are stretching like that, still there's no pain. There's no pain. Our hands together for Jesus Christ. How many children? I have five. How many staying with you? Three are staying with me. The other two, uh, I don't have access. Uh, these three are staying with, uh, that I'm staying with them, but I'm not with their mothers. Man of God asked me, uh, how many children do I have? And I confirmed that I have five. And uh, he continued asking me that how many uh, children do I live with? I confirmed that I live with three. Uh, I have relationship with three. And the other two, I don't have relationship with them. Though I don't have uh, a relationship with them, I contribute to, to them. I, though I don't have much interaction with them, I normally meet them once in a while. I continue uh, maintaining the, the relationship I have with my boys. Uh, I continue even checking on them. Uh, among, among those two, one, one completely. I, it's, not, it's not easy because uh, the, the, the parents they don't afford me uh, the chance uh, to interact with the, with, the, with the boy. So what happens is that I normally help them by helping them whatever they need, but without meeting him. I'm hoping and trust God to pave a way for me to, 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 to afford uh, interaction with my boy. And uh, I pray also for God to, to, to help me uh, maintain a relationship with the, with the boy. <laughs> Lastly, can you pray for me, man of God? Companies call me, they, they are very interested in employing me, they reject me. They, they Had you me. been taken by those companies who would not come to the church here? God was just saving you. If you had taken enough money, would you come to my church? Be honest. You wouldn't. So God will tell the blessing so that you will come, you see him. Then you go take the blessing, but you continue to appreciate God in your life. I'm, I'm not working. I lost my employment in 2018, and since then, I've never worked. So I now survive by doing peace jobs. So... My interest was to go back, uh, do a professional job like I did before, but I will meet uh, some companies, they will promise to, they will show interest that indeed they need me, and to the extent of giving me uh, emails uh, that indeed they will take me. But at the end, that, that will disappear and I will never hear from them. And now we are seeing some documents there on the board. You are welcome to take us through how they support your testimony. Uh, people of God, as you can see, I did a visit to a clinic. Uh, my BP, it was reading 176 instead of uh, 120 or 130 over 108. Uh, uh, the medical uh, practitioner even mentioned that I have a uh, hypertension crisis. Uh, what they did, they did take me, they did two attempts to take uh, BP. As you can see, a second time it was reading 185 over 118. Uh, after that, I've ignored, I've ignored that because uh, the Doctor recommended that I should come re recheck again, but I never came. Uh, as you can see as well, oh, this was last year. Uh, it was June last year, it was reading 154 over 108. 
uh, again, they did uh, some checkup uh, on the 6th of uh, it was reading 161. As you can see, it was going up and down. So, but even though it was going up and down, I never, I just ignored uh, this condition. Our hands together for Jesus Christ. Come on, those hands can be better for Jesus. Now say you came to the presence of God with your own expectation, but God Almighty's ways and thoughts as they are above our own, he revealed the main issue that was affecting your life, and not only that, but brought about solution. What can be your word of encouragement to the church? Uh, church, what I can advise or encourage is that uh, we should uh, remain uh, we should remain in church and believe in God. And we should uh, believe his words and we will, we will be fruitful. Our hands together for Jesus Christ. Sir, we thank God for your wonderful testimony. We share in your joy and we want to encourage you as the man of God has encouraged. Continue to give yourself to Jesus Christ. Make his word the standard for your life. And we are sure that better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me.